Hello everyone, today we'll have another video on biotechnology. This is a project on a monotube boiler uh, done by my, one of my students uh, for his uh, final year project in mechanical engineering degree. This is uh, based on water tube configuration, meaning that water is inside the tube and fire is in the surrounding of the shell side. The other configuration is the fire tube where the uh, water is in the container then the fire goes inside the tubes uh, penetrating that container. As safety goes, this is much safer. If you have a damaged pipe or a crack, you'll have very limited energy stored inside the coil, so there won't be an explosion or something. Unlike the uh, fire tube, where you have a lot of uh, water stored in a container at high pressure that can make uh, an explosion. So this is uh, a simple type of the boilers called monotube. Uh, why monotube? Because it has a single tube, not parallel tubes like a normal boiler. The advantage of monotube is that uh, it is first cheap, uh, it has only one pipe. Second, it is uh, much less uh, complex in fabrication. Means you have one pipe from the inlet to the outlet, that's it, that is the coil. Whereas if you have a normal boiler, you'll have several pipes going in parallel. So you'll have to weld uh, the inlet uh, distributor and the outlet distributor with many weldings for the parallel pipes. Uh, the downside for monotube will be the uh, high pressure drop since it has all the flow through single uh, tube only. Uh, also, the other downside is the uh, very limited uh, heat transfer surface area since it has also one uh, pipe only, no parallel pipes. Uh, for monotube, we have the gas, the furnace in the bottom, we put biomass in this case, then we'll have the body, the boiler, then you'll have the chimney. So the configuration, basic configuration for any heat exchanger is three configurations, the uh, parallel flow, the counter flow and the cross flow. Then you'll have more complex heat exchangers with a combination of these uh, basic uh, configurations. So you can do monotube in basically two configurations. One is parallel flow, one is counter flow. For the gas, it goes always upwards. Basically two configurations. One is counter flow where the input water is from top and the steam is from bottom or you can do parallel flow where the water comes from bottom, then the steam comes from top. Uh, for small configuration, the safest and the simplest is the uh, parallel flow, since the full uh, bottom side will always be uh, filled with water. Then you can have like a separation for uh, a pump start up on off once the level is dropping below a certain level uh, the pump start on and uh, fill up the bottom part of the coil uh, this configuration uh, will be limited in flow rate because the flow rate of steam will be governed uh, solely by the flame intensity you have more flame you have more generation of steam and vice versa uh, the other configuration for higher efficiency and higher flow rates you can use uh, counter flow where you can put the water from top then it uh, generates the steam while it goes down so the bottom will will be the steam outlet in this configuration you need uh, always on pump you cannot use on off pump because uh, part of the coil will always be subjected to the flame if you don't have always water running you might damage your boiler, but you can uh, have much higher flow rates. In this case, we are using uh, this piston pump. This is three piston pump. The target, the target was to uh, achieve two kilogram per minute steam. We achieved around three kilogram per minute steam while maintaining uh, saturated steam uh, production. The, uh, this boiler was built to run with the externally fired gas turbine system to convert it to uh, a humid air turbine system. So detailed pictures of the uh, boiler manufacturing and the parts will be shown uh, in a minute. Here is the chimney. We can see here 
uh, is the coil and the combustion chamber. You can fabricate the furnace simply from bricks, then you can align them with the refractory cement. Another part, important part, if you are using solid fuels such as uh, coal or biomass, you need a grate to uh, get rid of the ash accumulation so you don't disturb the flame. Uh, here we can see the, uh, the furnace with the grate and uh, initial test with the biomass. Then we have a simple metallic drum uh, cut from top and bottom. You can use uh, a blower to have uh, high intensity or even you can uh, have a natural convection uh, furnace uh, using the uh, draft or the stack effect by the chimney. For this purpose, you have to build a chimney to increase the uh, stack effect. The chimney can be uh, cut here, as we can see, from uh, mild steel sheet metal. Then we can have the uh, other part uh, rolled uh, from the same mild steel uh, the, uh, as a pipe shape. Uh, we can see here the uh, pump. This is a three piston, uh, piston pump with uh, electrical motor and a gearbox reduction. The main part of the boiler, of course, is the uh, copper tube. This is 10 mm uh, copper tube, 120 uh, meter length. It's huge because uh, we are aiming at very high flow rate uh, of uh, steam. Now we can see the uh, test run videos uh, of the uh, boiler. Enjoy. Okay, monotube boiler. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, monotube boiler fabricated at the school of mechanical engineering final year projects running on piston water pump and biomass fuel Monotube boiler running full power. Steam temperature 